Alright guys, I want to share something with you real quick. Um, I discovered oats recently and um, I think I found my holy grail. Uh, so I've tried throughout my 18 year career in mycology to um, do this thing I learned from Roger Rabbit where you take grain, you put it in a jar, you you know, without no soak, no simmer, no nothing. You just take the grain out of the bag, you throw it in the jar, you add water to the jar with the grain, you do up your jar like you would do your jars, and then you pressure cook it. And I very rarely had success with that. I never had enough success to try to do it in a, in a, in a, a, a big manner, like in a bulk method. I tried it here and there and it, sometimes I'd have success but it wasn't successful enough where I would use the jar I would always just dump it out because it would be sticky um, this is oat, whole oats though um, it has the hull on it still these uh, a very non starchy hull it's you know it's it's as good as it gets that I found um, I thought rye was the be all end all but this stuff seems to be the best I added as you can see here 400 grams of water, 400 grams of uh, whole oats. I didn't soak it, I didn't simmer it. I loaded the jar with the water and the grain and I pressure cooked it. Now, the only thing I think I could do to make this any better is to um, rinse the grain off first. As you can see there, there's some stickiness, but that's nothing that's going to impede the growth i would use this jar right here just like this so i'm going to do a few more tests and i'm going to confirm that you know there's no not going to be an issue with um contaminants because i did find my first seven jars i ever did of oats all contaminated with the same exact contaminant uh some real bad trench like this was uh the be all end all of trench <laughs> I mean, within 48 hours, the jars were completely bunk, bunk. And then I soaked it for 24 hours, simmered it, or boiled it for 45 minutes, pressure cooked it at 120 PSI, and now I have like 30 jars, or 30 quarts, let's say, going. Because I use a lot, I am, I'm very, very uh, big on the half gallons. I believe in them. You know, me and Roger Rabbit definitely disagree there, but as you can see, look at that. This is a fully usable jar. There is nothing that is not usable about this. So I'm going to let it sit for 48, 72 hours, and I'm going to see if any contams develop. If they don't, I'm going to go ahead and pressure up, cook. I'm going to do up some more with different ratios, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to rinse the grain first. The only thing I would change is I'd rinse this grain and I would, um, you know, I'd rinse it first. I'd throw my grain into a five gallon bucket, throw, you know, rinse it off with lukewarm water. And I would, um, you know, then throw it in the jars with its water and uh, pressure cook it. I think it would be a little bit cleaner than this and there would be less of that sticky, that sticky stuff sticking to the jars. Cause I think that's all just dust and stuff. Stuff that was on the grain to begin with that I could have rinsed off but this would not be a problem I don't think this would have very much impact on colonization times contam rates I could be wrong you know um, I'm you know I've been doing this 18 years pretty much steadily and uh, you know I'm still learning new stuff every day just like I, I just discovered oats you know I, I was stuck in my ways about rye thinking it was the be-all end-all um, but yeah Thought you guys might want to know about that it, that it was pretty fucking interesting so um if you'll enjoy this video or learn something you could like it if you you know hated this video you think i'm an asshole please dislike it um you know you could leave a comment even if it's just the fuck you you know i appreciate it and uh if not fuck you have a good day